the performance of the Leilala dancers. I welcome you in our traditional language. My respect to the elders. My respect to the noble ladies. My respect to the chiefs. My respect to all of you for inviting us to this beautiful land that you own. We will now dance the dance of the tame Hamatsa. In the days of old, the Hamatsa would go off into the woods, living off the shrubs, living off the berries, berries, and he'll come back into the village wild. And I ask you people to be a little quiet for the people that are aware and want to know what we're talking about here. I ask you to respect what we are going to offer you this evening. Our history goes back 10,000 years. The dances you will witness have been danced and handed from generation to generation for thousands of years. At one point in 1884, it was outlawed to 1884 to 1951. 27 of our elders of the Kwakwakiwak Nation were put to prison because we danced and sang. We will now dance the Tame Hamata, the Hilikatla, the highest standard dance of our people of the Kwakwakiwak Nation.
So we had a policeman that could handle anything, anytime in our traditional big houses. So this mask is called Nukumala. And if you want to laugh, you can. He could also be a fool.
started off using Aloha, but then we gave it to the Hawaiians. <laughs> what? Did you think of mine? I wouldn't lie all the way over here. It's a true story. The next dance you'll see is called... This lady that you will see dance now, her father is one of our youngest hereditary chiefs in our nation. And we honor her always because the women are the backbone of our system within the potlatch world, within our everyday world. They are the name keepers, the name givers. They keep track of all the songs, the mass that are within each family. And I'm very honored that Crystal Hunt has taken the initiative to come with us. She's also my niece. And I'm very honored to introduce her because her father has received a high chieftainship role amongst our people in honor of her family and Christmas. Oh, yeah, oh.
don't think that light man likes me because he had them all on full blast all the way Where did I go wrong, brother? You got any water down there? I'm going to bring the group out. I can sing my heart out. If it wasn't for the dedicated young people in our dance group, we have 26 members in our dance group. And we have members in Vancouver, Victoria, and all the way up and down the island. And they're all young people like this. So, our culture is strong. Uh, they are $20 each, and I think you 
are going to, that twenty dollars is going to be well spent. Thank you.
and he also has a CD, uh, and we're going to have him play one tune for you.
At the 2003 King of the Winter Games in Northern New Brunswick, the Eastern Turtle Performance Group will apply the opening ceremony of this national event. Eastern Turtle is a performance group made up of approximately 48 members from the Padma First Nation. For the opening ceremony, they performed in full regalia, George Paul's Mi'kmaq song, West We Got you, which is a gathering song for our Mi'kmaq Nation. Director Cynthia Sewell of Eastern Turtle talks about their experience. About a year before the Winter Games came into our area, Eastern Turtle had begun to form together as a performance group. Our drum group, the very classic our elders, and some dance members came all together and decided to get every side of and start to develop and learn the music culture. Um, when the Can Games came in, we were asked to uh, participate. So we had the wonderful experience of working with the uh, producer, Daniel Gastavé, and we had developed along with other First Nations the uh, new ceremonies of uh, our Mi'kmaq nations together. For Eastern Turtle, this was the first time we had that national experience brought to it, and it was truly a pleasure for us. We had prepared all the regalia, each one of the new and a lot of the teaching that happened all year long came to helping uh, us very much in that performance. Also during the Canada Games with the University of New Brunswick, um, Eastern Turtle was asked to provide as a daily dinner theater in the game of shipping New Brunswick uh, for an international show. And that show had been a wonderful experience for our community and it led to an invitation for our group to go to Wales in the uh, British uh, area. So, the whole experience for our community is it brought back our new on music, dance, and culture to our whole community. And everyone was put...
performing arts and music. Metis culture emerged from the mix of the first Asian and Western European society. The Beatles, Jigs, and Real have their origins from Europe, but are mixed with the grand and fancy dances of the first Asian culture. And at this time, they would like to uh, do a presentation to my brother Joel Denny. So I'm going to ask that uh, has not only helped go with this conference, but helps a lot of our Aboriginal dance groups out all across Canada. And without uh, Jerry's help, a lot of us uh, uh, was up here a little bit earlier. We thought we'd start off with him. But the main thing that we need for this dance here is partic participation from the crowd. And this is going to be a nice, fast dance. We have a couple of our uh, dancers that can really give her up here. And what we need from you is to just clap along with the music and have a good time. So the first one we're going to do is called the Eskasoni Train, right? Here we go. Okay, let's put those hands together. Come on, clap along with the music here.
session we're going to do for you is called the Reel of Eight. And the Reel of Eight actually comes from two communities. It comes from the, uh, the Scottish and it also comes from the Irish. And uh, both of them call it the Eight Hand Reel. And when we
one more dance that goes with this tune also. And uh, the next one we're going to show you is called the Métis Room Dance. And uh, this dance was uh, created back in the Métis uh, by a, a Métis trapper that was up in his uh, cabin one time. And uh, this guy was very creative and this one evening, well, when he was having a little bit of supper, he heard a knock on the door and it was another friend of his, another trapper from down... Uh, 